Salut with you. Welcome to Catch Up Plus on the 404 TV where we're bringing you entertainment gossip. Take a look into the world of sports and tech. I'm Love Vitian. Let's take a look at some of the trending stories. In our first story, a married man caused a scene at a night Lagos nightclub when he destroyed a Range Rover he supposedly bought for his side chick after, after she allegedly cheated on him. Now, a video from the incident shows the damaged Range Rover and the man is seen being restrained by security guard as he rains curses on the alleged side chick who is also distraught at the state of her car. He can be heard yelling that he bought her the car while calling her a prostitute for cheating on him. U.S. President Joe Biden has stated he doesn't think states should have the right to regulate sex change surgeries or treatment. Now, Biden, in an interview with a transgender TikTok star, denounced Republican states that have passed laws attempting to ban or limit sex change surgeries and transition treatments like hormone blockers uh, for children who identified as non-binary or transgender. In some other news, the only of Ife Oba Ogunwusi has married another bride, and his Sith wife is an Ijebu princess named Timi Tokwe. The marital rites were performed uh, in Magodo, and the shocking part uh, was that the only wasn't in attendance. Now, this is the third time he is getting married in less than two months, and the ninth time he's been married, and people are confused as to why he's on a wedding rampage. After the face tattoos, which raised concerns about his mental health, a portable is at it again. He took to his Instagram to show off dollars fans sprayed him at an event in Germany. Now, while shown off the money, the singer mocked those who have shamed him in the past for not going to school. He not only asked them if their fathers have as much money as he has, but also reminded them that he would buy their father's houses. Moving on, 46-year-old Andreas David, who was dubbed a doctor, coke penis after he killed his lover when he sprinkled drugs on the, his manhood, has been ordered to pay compensation. Andreas, who was jailed for nine years back in 2019 after the woman died after performing oral sex on him, I had claimed that the victim was aware that he had put a line of cocaine on his genitalia, causing her to suffocate with shortness of breath before collapsing. It was also learned that he pulled similar stones before with three other women and now a German court has rejected his claim that the victims knew he had done that and ruled that he has to pay 11,500 pounds to medical insurers IKK uh, Plus uh, who paid for the hairdresser's treatment before she died. The National Human Rights Commission and the Nigerian Association of Women uh, Journalists, Imo State Chapter, have called on the Imo State government and the Nigerian uh, police force to immediately arrest and persecute one Mr. Confidence Amato B, who allegedly assaulted uh, his two month old baby miracle. Now, Mr. Amato B was said to have assaulted his baby with a plastic hanger and broke the baby's arm for disturbing his sleep, yes, and report uh, said that the incident led to the amputation of uh, the fractured arm at the pediatrics ward at the Federal Medical Center, FMC Oweri. The National Human Rights Commission and the Nigeria Association of Women Journalists, Imo State Chapter, have called on the Imo State Government and the Nigerian Police Force to immediately arrest and persecute one Mr. Confidence, Amato B, who allegedly assaulted his two-month-old baby miracle. Now, the agencies and the aggrieved mother made a call for justice in a worry, the Emo State Capital. All right, let's take a look at what's happening in the world of tech. Coming up in our first uh, story at a launch event at the Drapa University in San Mateo, California, a startup revealed how its flying car hopes to take off. Now, Ali Bill, it's a uh, still in development electric vehicle, the Model A, as the first true flying car, a vehicle that it hopes it would look like a sleek electric car, but capable of vertical takeoff and able to fly for 110 kilometers. Now, the firm hopes to compete in a market 
estate occupied by well advanced wife research as a car and the pal v helicopter that are already flying and driving but jim alive's chief executive and co-founder argues most existing vehicles are not strictly flying cars in his opinion <laughs> In some other th tech news, a committee of MPs as saying tech firms uh, should raise uh, face tougher penalties for abusing their market power. Now, the business, energy, and industrial strategy committee has urged the government to publish legislation that could allow firms to be fined up to 10% of global annual income for abuses. MPs say the draft digital market bill announced in the Queen's speech in May should be published without delay. They say until the legislation legislation is passed. Um, consumers are at risk and that the committee agrees that existing fines have been viewed as just a small business cost uh, by the big technology business. Amazon shoppers in the UK could receive a share of £900 million in compensation once a legal claim is submitted against the technology giant. The proposed claim alleges the company breached competition law and caused customers to pay higher prices. It is being led by consumer rights champion Julie Hunter, who says products sold on Amazon.co.uk and the Amazon app obscured better value deals. The collective action is due to be filed before the end of the month. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's it for this edition of Catch Up Plus on Forever TV. Now, don't forget to subscribe to www.vybzfm.com and also follow us on all our social media platforms right there on the screen. I'm Love Vitian. Thanks for watching.